Good morning po sa ating lahat. Welcome in our bread and breakfast. Today is holiday in the Philippines. But of course, we still continue with our bread and breakfast. Because we know that our rest lies in the presence of God. And to be in the temple of the Lord is always that amazing experience. Amen. And today we thank God for everyone who's joining us. Even for those who are supposed to be rested today. I will welcome you in our bread and breakfast. Today we are in the book of First John and we continue in chapter 3. Amen. And in here, makikita po natin um, how John continually spoke to the hearts of the early church, especially the churches who have turned away, those who were persecuted and turned away in their faith. Now, makikita po natin dito ang change on how John addressed the churches during those times. In, in chapter 1 and 2, he has been addressing them as his children. And we, we repeatedly see John is speaking, my dear children, my dear children, my dear children. But in chapter 3 is a change of how he addressed the people on those times. And he began to speak to them and appeal to them, you know, in behalf of the Father. And he says that he, don't, he, he doesn't just speak to them as him as a disciple and as their father, but he speaks to them, you know, that they are the children of God. He speaks of their ultimate identity. That though he appeals to them as their disciple, as their father in faith, but ultimately, John wants them to understand who they are. And they are the children of God. So today I entitled this chapter, Become Children of God. Or Become Children of the Heavenly Father. Amen. And this brings us in the relationship kung ano pong meron tayo sa Panginoon. That He is not just God to us and that we are His creation but, or we are His subjects. But we are his sons and daughters, and he is our heavenly father. And that this is who he is. Hindi po siya humihingi ng isang bagay, especially in the three previous chapters, that God desires, God encourages people to walk in righteousness, to walk blamelessly, to walk according po dun sa holiness niya. Because somehow he is God. Amen? And there is, there is this somehow a barrier na marahil maari pong tingnan ng mga early churches yung panahon na yun, it was not easy to be like you because you're a God. It's not easy to walk in holiness, to walk uprightly because you're a God. But in chapter 3, John begins to tell them, you are his sons, you are his daughters, and he is a father to you. And just as a father knows his children, the children also knows the heart of the father. And there is a relationship. Meron pong relationship that goes beyond being God and a creation or a subject. But we have the relationship of a father and son, father and children. And that John continually, continually tell them, tells them, that we are, you are the Father. And great is the love of the Father to you that He should call you children of God. Because at the end of chapter 2, what, the, what did it say? If you know that He is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born of Him. Amen? So especially the early churches, the early believers on those times, as they have received Jesus and believe in Jesus, they begin to be partakers, you know, become heirs. They become brothers and sisters of Christ. And so that they have been transformed and changed before they are from the world, but now they are born of God. 
And that is the new identity that they have received. And somehow, marami po sa kanila noong mga panahon na iyon, hindi po nila naiintindihan kung ano po sila at sino po sila. But John is reiterating and allowing them to understand we are the children of God. And so we need to be act. We need to act as children of God. We need to become children of God. So paano nga po ba tayo maging anak ng Panginoon? First is that know that we come from God. And that we need to understand the image, the attitude, the character of God. And God is our Father. And you know, Madalas po natin sinasabi, pag nakikita po natin ang mga bata, we, what, how do we usually identify them? Usually, we identify them, Uy, kamukha mo nga si Kwan, as anak ka nga ng ganito. ba? Diba? Whether even in our attitude, pag tayo po nag- magagalitin, pag tayo po ay mabait, tayo ay sweet, they usually compare us to our father and identify us to our parents. And they will say, ah, anak ka nga ni ganyan kasi ganyan din siya. And usually, we are the mirror of our parents. Amen? Tayo po yung image ng parents. That's why madalas po na... Uh, we are being identified according kung sino ang mga parents natin. Minsan, hindi tayo kilala ng tao. Sinong tatay at nanay mo, pag malalaman po nila, alam nila kung sino po. ba? Diba? So, us- hindi po natin talaga maikakaila that we are our fathers and our mothers children. Kahit kahit po, no, no matter how we want to be different from them, pero nandun pa rin po yung character. There is that life being... Um, passed on sa atin. And so just like to our our fathers in in the physical world, same we are with our heavenly father. So that when we are called born of God and we are the children of God, then the the likeness, the character of Christ should be seen and God should be seen in us. So we must we must live like him and according to how we know him as we have already fellowship with him through Christ. Sabi po dito, that is what you are. That is what we are, sabi ni John. The reason the world does not know what us is that it did not know him. Now first, we need to understand who is our father. Kasi dun po natin malalaman, how can we be like God? How can we, li- how can we live like how we, he wanted us? First is that we know who God is, who our Father is. We know what He expects from us. We know what He wants and desires po sa atin. And this is common that as children, we live pleasing our parents. Amen? Be, the, no one would, would teach us to please our parents. Automatically, when we were born, we wanted to be, you know, we wanted to be like them. We wear their shoes. Nung mga bata po tayo, kahit ang lilit po ng mga paan natin, ginagamit natin yung heels ng parents natin, ginagamit natin yung damit nila, we imitate them. Because this is exactly what a child does. Amen? So, balit mga panahon na yun, many of the Christians begin to turn away from the very teaching of the Father. They begin to leave their faith, leave what has been taught to them in the church, and so that they follow the world. But in here, God is saying, and, and John is saying, as we are the children of God, we need to follow Him. Because we, that is what we are. Do not be surprised. Bakit po marami pong mga Kristiyano ng mga panahon na yon, they fell away, they turned away from their faith. Because many of them were experiencing persecution. Many of them nawala ng kaibigan. I mean, many were, were criticized. Many were being judged. Many were being persecuted. At marami pong nawawala sa kanila in the world. Kaya naman po, many of them turn away from their faith because they seen, they have seen their faith that as they follow the truth, somehow po, ay hindi na po sila nagiging belong. But you know, John is saying to them, do not be surprised. Do not be lonely. Do not be sad. Is somehow you following the ways of the heavenly father. You are being shunned in the society. You are being criticized by the society because the father, God himself, he was not known by the world itself. He came to the world, but the world did not know him. 
The world despised him. The world rejected him. And this is our Father. This is God. And so, hindi po dapat tayo magtaka na kung sa, at, sa mundong ibabaw, just like the early church, yung panahon na yun, they were shunned by the society. Do not be afraid to be different. Because that is who we are. We are not of the world. We are born of God and we were not born of the world. That's why the world will not know us. The world will not understand us. The world will reject us just as they have rejected God. And so if the world rejects us, then we need to rejoice because we are of God. Kaya nga po sabi ng mga disciples, they are happy to be persecuted in the sake of the name of Jesus. Because they become one with Christ. And so is the early church, the mga panahon na yun. They did not know us, is that they did not know Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. Though we are called the children of God, subalit kung ano pa ang magiging tayo in the future, hindi, na, hindi pa po natin alam. Because somehow in the world, We feel that though we are children of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, we are children of the Heavenly Father, of the God of creation. Pero somehow sa mundong ibabaw, even though we are called the children of God, marami pa rin po tayong mga kahirapang na experience. We are being rejected. We are being uh, uh, criticized. But in the future, greater is the glory that awaits in us. Amen? Hindi pa po natin na measure at nakikita at na experience the fullness of us being the children of God. But we need to understand that we are, that is our identity. We are the children of Christ. We are the children of the Heavenly Father. And what lies ahead of us is greater than we had expected. Hindi pa po natin nakikita. We have not seen the mansion na pinapare ng Painon sa atin. Hindi pa po natin nakita yung crown of glory. And there is yet to come, there are yet to come, if we only learn to stand in our position as children of God. And sabi po niya dito, we, but we know one thing is for sure, that, we, that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. All we have this hope in Him purify them. All we have this hope in Him purify themselves just as He is pure. But on us knowing who Jesus is and walking in the ways of Christ, walking in the ways of the Heavenly Father, this is how we know Him. And we are like Him. We imitate Christ as He imitates the Father. And you know, how do we imitate Him? We need to be pure. Just as Christ purified Himself when He came here on earth, we need to purify ourselves. That means we should not Antag dito, immerse ourselves or, or um, mix ourselves with the values of the world. We should not mix ourselves with the principles of the world and the ways of the world. But we remain pure. Wag po tayong matakot. Wag po tayong minsan, you know, feel so much dejected. Whenever our faith comes along the way, comes in between our relationship with other people. Amen? You know, na-experience ko din po yan when, while, when I was in elementary down until, you know, I don't know how my classmates, my close friends sees me today. But in the beginning, they, they really mocked me. You know, nung, nung mga bata pa kami, ah, kayo pala yung alive-alive, kayong hallelujah. Oh, pastora, nung mga sudyante pa lang kami. And whenever I come to church, you know, whenever I, I seek and, se- and put first ang pagpunta sa church because Sunday is a time to serve God. But during those times, you know, nung pag-aaral po namin ng nursing, many of them, mga classmates ko, because grabe po yung standard ng school namin noon because we wanna be 100% sa aming board exam kasi yun yung expectation sa amin. We were like the cream of the crop sa aming school and they look up to us and the whole university has a high expectations sa amin. Na ganun na lamang po yung pressure ng pag-aaral po namin noon. That even on Saturdays and Sundays, 
every night we come together and 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 learn and study but i always makes ex make excuses every sunday because sunday is time for the lord amen and hanggang sa point po that that you know i was persecuted in school and people say ah sinasabi mo ang tawag dito, you need to come to church pero faith without action is that sinasabi nila because i was not reviewing with them on Sundays. I was not with them on Sundays. And you know, they begin to mock me on on what on my stand, you know, for coming to Sunday services and coming to other services on the weekdays. And they begin to persecute me. And until, you know, when I followed Christ, when I walked and entered into full time ministry, many did not understand. My Meron, meron pa pong instance and in most madalas na, na experience ko I, you know, people they, they look down on me as a pastor and meron pa nga yung isang time na one of my family member, you know, talked to me and kinonfront niya ako and it was heard by many people because I was attending a wedding during those times and he confronted me, oh Maricar, saan ka na ngayon? And I told him, I'm pastoring a church, I'm leading a church. And sabi niya po sa akin, ha, nag-nurse-nurse ka pa. Tapos, nag-pastor ka lang din pala. And they will always say, walang pera sa pagpapastor. And they will always, they even use the word dumbbell ka talaga. Or, or alam niyo yun, bobo ka. You know, because you have turned away and you have, you know, tinapon mo lahat ng pinaghirapan mo. And in the beginning, I was also very lonely. In the beginning, I, I feel really sad. I feel offended. In, in those times, people do not understand my calling. And, and all I can do is to somehow cry before God. I cannot defend myself or, or fight or, or answer them because somehow they do not understand. And I have, uh, I have accepted the facts that somehow they will not really understand me because they do not know the calling of God in my life. But the funny thing is, you know, as we continue to stand and persist, unti-unti po naiintindihan nila. And, and they, be, they have the change of heart. They have the change of mind. And they begin to honor me in the family now. Whenever we have a gathering, they ask me to pray. They recognize my authority as, as a child of God, as a pastor, as, as a shepherd of the Lord. And this is something. Because, you know, in the beginning, they will not really understand. But God can touch the hearts, even the coldest heart. God can transform the hearts of those people. Yung mga taong nag attack sa iyo, mga tao po na nag-question sa iyo, someday, they will turn to God. Someday they will turn to you and they will ask of your help. And I experienced that. And that is what, you know, John is saying to them, do not be afraid, but you need to be, you know, imitate God. You need to be pure. No matter how the world is trying, you know, to lure you away, take you away from the truth, no matter how the world rejects and persecutes you, be stand firm stand firm in your faith and that is us that is our identity and another point in verse 4 down to verse 10 is that we need to do what is right just as jesus did verse 4 everyone who sins breaks the law in fact sin is lawlessness but you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins and in him is no sin, no one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. So sabi po dito, the Father has appeared to us. And how did he appear to us? It's not just on the time of the Mount Sinai. But in chapter 1, makikita po natin, the John says, we have seen him, we have heard him, we have touched him, and we had fellowship with him. And he's talking about Christ. Because the only way we see God is encountering Christ in our lives. Because Jesus Christ is the, siya po yung totality ng Panginoon. Siya po ang nagpapakita sa atin on who God is in our lives. Though we don't see God. We didn't see God in our time today. But in the life of Jesus, we know 
God has appeared in our lives. And that now that God, Jesus Christ, came here first, what? To take away our sins. So that in the, in the sinful life of man, we know that Jesus has died. He who has no sin became sin for us. So that we can have the hope that today we can live a pure life. Because he already took away the sin. Yung minana pa po natin kay Adam. Yung, yung atin pong identity na nanggaling kay Adam. All the curses that we have inherited from him. All the sinful nature. Jesus already died for it. So that we can begin anew. We can have a new beginning. And this time, we can be able to choose. Because Dati, when we were born, we are already sinners. And we did not choose that. In our time, you know, nung panahon po natin, nung pinanganak po tayo, we were sinners already because we came from the bloodline of Adam. Amen? So, balit, when Jesus died for us, God gives us a new beginning, a new and a fresh start. And this time, we can start to choose what is right and to shun away sin. So that hindi na po tayo bound ng kasalanan na, na, kung saan po we were born from it. But now we were born of God. Amen? Nakakaroon po tayo ng bagong identity. So it's a new beginning. Because Jesus, has took, He took away all our sins at the same time as He has appeared on us, God showed us true righteousness. Dear children, sabi po, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous just as he is righteous. We, he here is Jesus. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Amen? So, balit, Jesus has portrayed to us, ipinakita na po ng Panginoon sa atin, how we can be pure in our time today. Kung paano po natin ma-overcome ang pagkakasala. Yes, we cannot not sin. But we can live a life not sinning. What does it mean? You don't want to, you don't sin. You don't want to sin. Amen? Though sometimes we still fall short. Because, you know, we are humans. Pero yung desire po natin, yung ability po natin, we can choose not to sin. Parang ito yung bagay, we can choose to curse. We can choose to not to forgive. But because we know we are children of God, we can be able to forgive. Kahit in the beginning, we hated these people. In the beginning, we want to take revenge. But you know in our hearts, because the seed of God, sabi po dito in verse 9, no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning. We cannot hate forever. We cannot be unforgiving forever. But we learn to forgive. We learn to surrender. We learn to give up on our, you know, our pains, our, our hurts in the past. We can no, we, we no longer walk. We, we can no longer walk in the ways of the wickedness. Kung dati pala mura ka, kung dati 20 times or 100 times a day ka nagmumura, ngayon 5 times na lang. And as you continue to persist and as you continue to receive the Holy Spirit, Hanggang sa isang bes na lang, hanggang sa hindi mo na naisip. Kung dati pala away ka. Nag-iiba po ito. And this is what God is saying. If we are born of Christ, if we are born of God, because Jesus is in us, and the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of God, the truth is in us, we can choose not to go on sinning in our lives. We can pray. We can begin to, to preach on ourselves. We can have that self-control. We can have that, the fruit of the Holy Spirit just as Jesus has done it. Did you know how hard it was for Jesus to live as men being God and then leading 12 disciples na mga pasaway? It was not easy. Jesus made it. Jesus has overcome it. And so as we, 
And so that in that way, Jesus did not just overcome the wickedness of the world, but he ever, even overcome death. He overcame death. And that will bring us to the third point later on. But in here, sabi po ng Panginoon, we need to understand we are, we are the children of God. So that we need to believe and follow the ways of God. We need to follow the ways of God and not the ways of the world. Many of the Christians sa mga panahon na yon, they felt left out. They felt so much persecuted. So what happened? They followed the Gnosticism, Gnosticistic um, belief. And these people believe in, they believe in the cosmic power. They believe in the stars. They believe and worship angels. Amen? The, the, the higher that they know, the, the higher knowledge that they gain about the creation, they believe that they gain more power. Amen? At ito po yung naging path na nilakaran ng marami po sa kanila. And even in our time today, we are like this. You know, we don't fully believe on God. Kaya nga po, we still live in superstitions. Marami pa rin po tayong paniniwala ngayon. We are Christians for a long time. Pero pag nakakita tayo ng maitim na pusa, nako, malas yan. Diba? Whenever something happened, na tinuro po sa atin ng mga magulang natin before, like the superstitious bili pag may nahulog, nako, may bisita. O diba? Huwag daw pa ikutin ang pinggan. Ang daming mga superstitions that stops us. And people says na wala namang masama kung mag-follow tayo eh. Kasi tinuro ng mga magulang somehow na experience nila. Pero alam nyo, ang daming mawawala. Because you are losing your faith. You are losing the truth in your life. And you begin to depend on, on the horoscope. Begin to depend on palm reading. But all these things, these are against God. This is a walk of evil and wickedness. We join groups na kung saan po we believe we, we join in this group, we can have power. And there are some churches like that. They join the churches kasi nga they need work. They find they have power in the marketplace when they join these churches. There are some groups that they join in these groups so that when they are in this group, they feel they are strong. They feel they have the power and authority. They receive that power. Just like Freemasonry. L lately nga po, naging viral yung, masan ako, masan ako. Why did that person say that? He may be part of the Freemason or not, but it is because the group, you know, whenever they, they, they will apply at kakasama po sila sa Freemason, they think they are invincible. They were like God. They will have the rule and the authority and power over many people. And this is what happens. So what happens, many people want to always be in that group. They rely on joining these groups. May mga iba't ibang grupo, you know? But what is the motive of us joining those groups? What is that group's belief? We need to know. That, hindi lang po tayo basta join ng join. That's why even in the churches, amen, we need to pursue the truth and the righteousness of God. Because in our time today, even Christians, they do not know. We do not know where do we stand. Why? Because it's easily for us to grasp the world. This is us. We do not go out from the church. We do not leave the church. We still come to church every Sunday. You may think, ah, Pastor Akar, hindi para sa amin yung word na yan kasi we didn't leave the church. But many of us today, we are still, we come to church. We, we always come in the Sunday service, receive the word. But outside the church, we follow our own principle. We follow the principles and the ways of the world. We follow the superstitions of the world. Nag-grupo-grupo po tayo. And we, we sometimes form a group. Bakit? Para pagtulungan yung mga weak. We come together, we gossip together against our other people. We are 
talking about us. And this is us. But God is saying, we cannot be sons of God and at the same time, sons of the world. No, we cannot be. But John wants us to be made aware that we are the children of God and that is who we are. So that we need to follow yung righteousness ng Panginoon. So that we have do what is right just as Jesus is. God is already exemplified. And how can we? How it is seen? What is the result of us doing what is right as Jesus did? Sabi po dito, for this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because he, because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Third point and the last point in verse 11 down to the last verse in 24. Live in love and have life. Live in love and have life. To be a child of God, again, just as in chapter 2 is saying, how can we really see that we are really children of God if we learn to love one another, show grace to one another during those times because there is so much persecution in the church. Even in the church, they begin to attack one another. They begin to destroy, fight. There is division, there is confusion in the church because of the false doctrine. Marahil, many people, they... They, they, they confront their leaders, they challenge the truth, they challenge the leaders, and many of them, they, alam niyo po yun, naglalaban-laban sila. So there was no love. There was no love. And because of the persecution in the church nung mga panahon na yun, many are seeking for personal gain. Many are seeking for their own self-benefits. But that's why, John says, I'm not just preaching the truth. I'm not just saying this for you to have a knowledge, but put it into action. We need to love one another. In this time that the church is being attacked, in this time the church is in great turmoil, we need to learn to love one another. Sino pa bang aasahan nila to help each other? But they themselves. They need to rise up to live in love. And not to be like Cain. Why? Minsan po, bakit po the church is being persecuted? Kasi minsan hindi po ma, dahil hindi po maatim ng world, the righteousness of the church. Because they are doing the other way, but the church is doing the other way. And the church is doing what is good. Have you ever experienced that? In your life, as Christian, minsan napapersecute kayo kasi you don't want to drink. Sometimes you don't want to go on with their vices. You don't want to go and do what the world does. So they always say, KJ ka. Hindi, hindi po dahil they were jealous of you. But they were guilty of themselves. Because we are a reminder of their evil works, of their wickedness. Kaya wag po tayong magtaka that sometimes you are being persecuted. Do not turn against ourselves Wag po tayong masyadong hard sa ating sarili. Because we did not do anything wrong. But this is them. This is the, 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 you know, the wickedness in the world. Hindi po nila kayang maatim, you know, to see us doing what is right. Minsan sa work, everyone wants to go under time. Everyone wants to steal from the company. Everyone wants to rest. They don't want to give their best in the work. But as Christians, because we know that our work, our work in the marketplace is a worship to God. So we give our best. We serve God. We, we respect our employers. And sometimes, sasabihan tayo, sip-sip ka kasi. The world will not understand. But for us as Christians, we need to persist and continue to love, continue to do what is According to love. Love our work. Love our boss. No matter how, how, how they are in, uh, reasonable. We love even our enemies. And this is how we can influence the world. Si Cain, he killed Abel. 
not because God showed favoritism. Na mas maganda yung offering ni Abel kay Cain, kaya tinanggap niya yung kay Abel. No. It's because Cain had this evil heart. Pwede niyo namang tanuin ang Painon, Lord, what did I do wrong? So that I can be better because he wants to please God. No. But he just wants to do what he wants. And he wants God to accept the way he is. And this is how men today. We want to do what we want to do. And we want God to follow us and tolerate us. This is the wickedness of men. And so sometimes we can kill. Bakit hindi natin kinakaya? These people are doing what is right. But for us, we choose what we want to do. And we feel tayo yung nasasyan. We feel tayo yung victim. We feel tayo po yung nakikriticize or na-judge. Na, na and this is the twisted mindset of many Christians today. Wag na po tayong lumayo just among us in the church. Whenever we want to do what we want to do, and then our leaders will speak to us, what do we do? We get offended. We challenge our leader. We destroy. We speak negative words against them. And this is our Cain. This is the Cain in our hearts. And there is rebellion. We begin to rebel against our leaders. We rebel against the church. That's why many of them are like Cain. They want, they gusto po nila na sundin sila ng church. They want to be in control to where the church want, will go. Pero nung hindi sumusunod ang church, they left the church. And what happens? They return and they begin to bring confusion. They begin na maglagay ng marami mga maling bagay in the church. Why? Because they want to destroy. And we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful that we become like this. And so that we need to reflect on ourselves. To live in love. Those who live in love, what does God say? Verse 13, Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. We have overcame death. Yung path of destruction na lagpasan na natin because we learn to understand how to become children of God and how to live out the righteousness of God and that is true love. When we learn to love one another. Brothers and sisters, as we have been studying John, I hope we are receiving this. We are not talking about knowledge. What we can know, how we see things, understand things. But all this is gearing towards the execution of righteousness of God. And that is true love. How to be Christ-like? Love. How to be pure? Love. Because in love, you can never go wrong. But how do we love? Sabi po dito, when we love the children. Verse 18, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. The church are in persecution on those times. How do they respond to the persecution? How do they respond to the confusion that is happening? We choose to love. One, first, not to love the world, but to love God. Second, they need to love the truth. The truth, and they need to remain in the truth. And when they love, they need to love in truth. Even those people who persecute them, they need to embrace them. Embrace them. But they should, they should remember the truth. Embrace and love them in a way they will not be swayed from the lies of the enemy. They need to love the truth. Love also in truth 
that means po na yung pagmamahal po nila, it is not out of unrighteousness. Hindi po siya twisted. That's why the love in 1 Corinthians says, love does not rejoice in evil. Love does not boast. It is it has self-control and they need to love with action. Amen. The church must love one another. Encourage one another. Lift up one another. Not to destroy. Not not po to cause division. Not to say, ah, hindi, hindi ka pinapansin sa church nyo. Halika dun. No. But we need to learn to love one another. Brothers and sisters, we need this. And at the end of this chapter is, is a great reminder on how all these things can happen. Verse 24 says, The one who keeps God's commands lives in him. We need the commands of God is very important for us so that as we have received the commands of God, we need to obey it and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. It is all by the spirit of God. All these things, how we can live a life of holiness and purity, how can we follow God, how can we become children of God. It is through the spirit that is given by us, given to us by God. Amen. It is He we will testify. It is He who will teach us. It may sound very complex to hear this sharing today, how we want to really follow God. But Lord, we know as humans, we have a lot of limitations. Maging ang ating understanding is limited. But know that God has already gave you the Spirit. And it is His Spirit that will teach us all things. Today, let us pray and may the Lord help us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we, we pray today and we come to you and we give you thanks. For you are not just God for us, but you are a Father. And out of your love, you called us from the world. You called us from our wilderness and in our darkness. And today you called us not just your creation, but your children. You lavish us with love as you have given us the new identity. Giving us your image. Giving us your character. Your personality. So that in our life, today we can live out in purity. We can live in purity and righteousness. Lord, we thank you. For we know in our own selves, in our own strengths, we cannot do it. But Father, we thank you that today you remind us once again who we are and we are your children. That is who we are. No matter how corrupt the world that we are living in, no matter how we have transformed and changed, oh God, because of the things that has been introduced by the world in us, by the things that we have experienced, the difficulties, the sufferings that we had, our circumstances in the past that turned us to who we are today. But you said, it doesn't change the fact that we are your children and you chose us out of love. And so Lord God, we just pray and we give to you our lives today. We commit to you our lives. You know how much we have fallen short. We know how we have turned away from you, Father. We know on how much, though we believe and receive you, we still choose to follow the world. We have so much beliefs, superstitions in our lives na hindi po namin maiwan at maiwaglit. There are some unbiblical principles that we still choose to follow despite knowing what is true. We even rely on other people, rely on groups, rely on being part of such a group to gain power, to gain, Lord, a higher status in, this, in the society. We always pursue these things, pursue the things of the world, groups in the world, people in the world, and we rely on them, then relying on you as our Father. But God, you said you are not just a God. But you are a father. You care, you love us, and you are willing to provide all our needs. You are there to help us. 
and you are not a God who doesn't know and understand our weakness. But you yourself, Lord, appear. You yourself, as a father, knows our needs. You know our difficulties. You know our suffering. So that God, alam po namin na ikaw ay nasa sa amin at kasama ka namin, hindi mo kami kailanman ni Iman. At ikaw din ang siyang katulungan ng bawat isa. Just like how a father carries his child. Just like how a father protects and covers his children. You are that father and you care for us. And Lord God, today, sa oras na ito, dalangin ko po, Panginoon, na ang bawat isa sa amin ay maranasan ka ng mas may kalaliman na malaman ng bawat isa kung sino ka at sino kami sa iyo. Ikaw ay ang aming ama. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang ama na nagmamahal sa amin. And we can be like your children. Today, brothers and sisters, as I pray, God showed to me and speaks in my heart. Many of us here, we have a lot of cares in our lives. We have a lot of worries. We cannot stop from relying from the world, relying on our own strengths, or relying on our own principles. Because we do not know how to be a child. We do not know how to rely on our authorities. Maybe when you were young, our parents may have fallen short. Our parents may not, they have not been able to fully meet our ideal, our expectation. Marahil marami silang kakulangan. Hindi nila naibigay lahat ng pangailangan mo. And so that's why when you grew up, you grew up independent. You grew up strong. And you become, even became parents for your parents. So that today, hindi nyo alam, hindi natin alam kung paano maging mga magulang. Mag maging mga anak. But today, God is saying to you, My child, you are my child. Become a child to me. Learn to depend on God. If the world, maybe our parents have disappointed us, but our God will never disappoint. The love of the Father will never fail. Today, as you trust in Him, God desires and wants you to lay down all your burdens, lay down all your cares, lay down all your fears. Do not pursue the world. Do not be afraid of your future, says God, because your future is in my hand. Your future for me and I prepared your future. It is to prosper you and not to harm you. But rely on me. Rely on me, says the Lord. Be a child. Trust once again. Return to being, being a child and rely on God. Because God is the giver. God is your protector. And God will provide all your needs. Stop pursuing the world. Stop enslaving yourself with so much of work, with so much of worries. But come before God and rely on Him. It is He who prospers all the things that you do. It is He who will give you, who will establish you in all your works. And today, God is also healing your heart to begin to trust again. Rely and be a child. Rely and trust your authorities again. Rely on Jesus. And that you may also walk according to His ways, according to His wills. And this is to walk in faith, walk in love, love and trust. So that in your lifetime, the Holy Spirit will work in your life. As you rely on Him. Father, I pray today. And I speak life to each one of us. That as we receive our identity as your children. You transform us and change us. From the ways of our wilderness and of the world. We can be transformed as your true 
and real children. Children who can rely on you. Children who can trust you. Children who are not afraid. No matter how the society and the world may reject us. But we know that we are loved by you. We have you to cover and protect us. We may lose many things in the world. But God, as long as we have you, Lord, we know we can have that peace. We can have that life in abundance that comes from you. So Lord God, we thank you. I bless your church today. No matter what kind of difficulties or suffering or maybe persecutions that they are in, they can overcome, Lord, and break through from all their difficulties because they have you. They can stand firm. They can stand firm and be courageous to stand in their faith. They are not afraid because you are with them. And you will walk with them, Lord, as they, as you continue, Lord, to unveil who they are and what they will receive, what they gain from being your children. Father, we thank you. I bless each one of them, O oh God. And may you be glorified in our lives. And may you continue to be magnified this we pray in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah God bless Paul. and tonight we welcome you and we invite you to come and and join us in our inner room and I know the relationship will be transformed and we can go deeper in our faith sa Panginoon as we follow through our discussions in our inner room God bless Paul.